Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 10 of Let's Play The Hand of Glory Part 2. So in the previous episode, we um, thought that we'd nearly got towards the second part of the map, um, but we needed to spike the guy's drink. What's his name? Balsar... No, not Balsamo. I can't remember his name. I only played it yesterday. But anyway, we've got this licorice root. Where's the licorice root? There. And we tried to put in his drink... But he's obviously going to spot a massive stick. So we've got to make that into some kind of powder or tea or something. I'm not too sure. So um, I try to burn it to kind of... Um, well, burn it, essentially. Cook it. Hmm. See if you can squid it down. Thing. But that didn't do anything. What was this handkerchief? A folded again? handkerchief with the words, Be right back. Be right back. And what was that? That well, that was the key for the castle Sancti Leone. So we have we're halfway there. So possibly we're going to the cafe to see if we can make a tea. So let's go here. Um, before I do click on this guy, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for continuing to watch this episode ten. It's um yeah really good considering really it's episode what twenty eight was it eighteen episodes in the first part of the Hand of Glory it was quite a lot wasn't there um yeah so thank you for sticking around for watching just want to say that because it's got some good uh, some good views hey Oliviero right let's see if this guy can help me with the route ah no he can't I'm not going to about the scroll because it's just going to say the same stuff what about these old guys over here. Look at that the hip action going on there. They would have stalled me to talk about the old days for hours. It sounds great, to be honest. Maybe maybe later on. Right. How can we get this route? There is another thing. If I do get stuck, I can go to the church. The library was closed for the weekend. Oh, hmm. That's not good. Should I go to the, ch I go to the church? Because that's kind of where the third part of the map is. Maybe I'll go to the church. Maybe... How else can I get this route? Right, so that's the church. Let's just leave that for a minute, just to think. Um, oh, did he have some water? Let's go to talk to this guy, because I think he had, like... Yeah, some... Oh, we can't click on anything. Hmm. I thought he had some... Like a kettle or something. Maybe... Doesn't. Um, let's talk to him, see if he knows anything about licorice. A connoisseur of licorice, perhaps? Got nothing else to ask him. No. What are the odds? So, that's it. Oh, straight out. That'd be good. So, I've been there. Nothing. Been there. Nothing. Been there. Nothing. What was in the fortress? Hmm. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. See if During the day, the fortress was back to shining, engulfed by its elevated tranquility. It gave me a thrill, though, together with the memory of the fight I had the previous night with the doctor. Oh yeah, there was a fight, wasn't there? <laughs> I forgot that massive bit of, in of information. Let's go in, see if anything has changed. So I think my objective, essentially, is to get that that licorice root sorted. But, I have a feeling I might need to go elsewhere. Oh, he's finished. Maybe I can chat to him. Because he was up there last time, wasn't he? Ooh, local hero honoured. Many of you probably know him personally, since we're talking about one of our fellow citizens who last night stood out with a fearless act of rescue. His name is Luca, a guard. Oh, that buffoon. Oh no, that was, that was, uh, his name wasn't Luca, was it? Anyway, let's carry on. I thought it was the guy with the blonde hair who slipped on the step. It's not, it's someone else. His name is Luca, a guard and supervisor of the renovation work at the fortress of San Leo for a few months. Ah, Luca is the guy who is right here. It was nightfall. A worker and I were lingering for some urgent retouching, said the man to our reporters. Suddenly we heard some loud noises coming from outside, like a violent struggle and some shattered glass. That's when the worker probably lost his balance and fell off of the scaffolding he was working on at that moment. And that's where our daring Luca comes in, throwing himself on the ground with incredible reflexes, softening the colleague's fall and saving him from certain death. I couldn't help but intervene. I'm a tough guy, he stated with an uncertain look. An attempted break-in at the fortress of San Leo, then, or a simple quarrel. More information on page 11. Wow, you became a local hero. I didn't do anything in particular. I'm just soft. I knew eating all those donuts would be good for something sooner or later. That's quite funny. I'm just soft. 
Ooh, medikit. Judging by his condition, that medkit had to belong to the workman. Among the tools, an unused syringe stuck out. Somebody could get pricked. Excellent. Syringe. I'm, I'm automatically going towards, can I use the syringe with the root? Hmm. Better think about it. No. Can I use the syringe with the drink that the guy was drinking? Perhaps. Perhaps. Judging by his condition, that med kit had to belong to the workman. Nothing else. Let's chat to Luca then. I had nothing else to ask him. Oh, okay. Can I go in the door? And led deep into the fortress. It was a pity that at the moment it was impossible to venture beyond. Okie dokie. Right. Um, I think we're going to have to go to the church. Come on, let's do it. Why delay the inevitable? Um, I've no idea what I'm going to find there. The priest guy might still be there. Let's go. Father Carlo. I like this guy. He's funny. Hello, Father Carlo. What can you tell me about Father Alfredo? What can you tell me about Father Alfredo? Ah, oh, Father Alfredo. He was a leading figure in San Leo in the 18th century. A man of unshakable faith, as well as philanthropist and benefactor, his mortal remains reside here, within our ossuary, together with those he deemed worthy of such a privilege. Knights from a distant time. I was in shock. Carlo had just answered a question of mine. <laughs> what if this scroll piece was in the ossuary? Can we go and get it? Oh, carry on writing. Big note right there. Let's suppose one wanted to visit the ossuary. No, no, I really couldn't oblige the request of this friend. What friend? This one you're talking about. Oh. I've been appointed by the bishop to personally safeguard the keys, and that is a duty to be followed at any cost. It was the first time I'd seen Father Carlos so fired up and passionate. I wouldn't be able to fool him with words this time. Hmm. So the ossuary is off limits. Don't worry, it's just a dark and damp place. No, so the, the ossuary is off limits. Don't worry, it's just a dark and damp place. It's just a dark and damp place. See you later, Father. Hmm. The plaque identified the figure as Saint Leo, patron of the city. I imagine someone more muscular and fierce. Just having a quick browse, because I haven't really browsed around here, have I? There's a book. It's all this lovely stained glass window. That stained glass window successfully achieved its purpose. Inspiring awe and peace at the same time. Right. Door. Panel. Let's read the panel. There's a lot of panels going on around here. Is this what it's like in Italy normally? Never been. Church of St. Francis in Verona. The original core is very ancient. Probably, probably dating back to AD 915. But the church underwent a profound transformation after 1213. Since then, many renovations have occurred, the largest of which happened in 1795 through the mark of a local nobleman, the Marquis de Vilta. At that time, so much maintenance and reinforcements were done that later only minor measures were needed. The main stained glass window, a colourful mosaic held together by lead inserts, is dedicated to St. Francis of Assisi and depicts his visit to San Leo in 1213. St. Francis came to the city during the investiture ceremony of a noble knight, and on that occasion he threw himself into a sermon dictated by the heart and based on a song of the time that said, So great is the good which I expect that all pain is to me a delight. The Count Orlando, who was present that day, was so fascinated by it that he decided to bestow the Verna Hill to him, considered an ideal place for meditation. The wolf and the towel, both symbols of faint saint Francis. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, I've got an achievement. Is that what it was for? I don't know. Let's go Maybe confess. Maybe taking Carlo to a secluded place would help me get rid of him. I have an urgent need to confess. Sit down, my son. I'll be there in a moment. You've got many, many sins, Lazarus. How long since your last confession, dear Mariano? Hmm, give or take, it might be... 20 years. Good heavens. We have a lot to talk about then. Go ahead and start whenever you feel at ease. Uh, <laughs> wow. I've stolen things of every kind. I tricked a big baby into believing that my stuffed bear was a panda. I 
beat a woman of a certain age with an age with an adjustable wrench. Let's go with a wrench. I beat a woman of a certain age with an adjustable iron wrench. I beg your pardon? More than once. In my defense, <laughs> the woman in question was pointing a gun at me. God almighty, help us. Um... I tricked a big baby into believing that my stuffed bear was a panda. These jokes don't help anyone, you brat. It isn't a joke. I had to infiltrate an abandoned factory to retrieve some files related to the trafficking of strange magical artifacts. Come on now. Stop pulling my leg. <laughs> I've stolen things. Of every kind. For financial reasons? Nah, not really. I keep facing strange obstacles to overcome. Situations to the point of absurdity that always require a creative approach to solve. For example, a few days ago I had to lock up a hen in a chicken coop to steal its egg and use it to cook some meatballs. Meatballs? <laughs> ah, hunger is a nasty beast. No, no, I needed them to convince a grumpy cook to give me a bloody hot. Maybe it would be better to change the subject. <laughs> oh, I love, the, I love the meta in this. That was very good. Well done. Enjoyed that. And that's all. On your conscience weighs a heavy burden. But don't despair, because the Lord hates the sin, not the sinner. Now let us bow our heads in prayer, my son. Listen to your heart, and in your deepest soul, repent of everything you've done. Nice speech, but I had bigger fish to fry. This was the right opportunity to try knocking the priest out. What? Can I just... Father, I can finally hear my oh, clear conscience. Dang. It's the gift of our Lord, dear Jano. Never forget it, and come back whenever you want. I'm here for you. No, I'm going to go back in there because it, I could click on him. Let me just have a quick look in my inventory because it says knock, knock him out. I mean, that's a bit harsh. <gasps> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I could use a syringe on the tranquilizers. That's at Novak's house. That sounds right, doesn't it? Let's 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 try it. If I double click, does it go quick? Novak. Um. A syringe in the bag. If he's not looking, I thought it was better to look for another solution. What? No, that's right. That is absolutely right. I know it is. I just know it is. Let's talk to her. See if, see if we can take one. Oh. I have other things to do now. Good. Now get out of my hair. That's got to be right. I was convinced that was right. Like hell, I. T was it really? No. Oh man, that's really. Uh, hmm. In that moment. Oh man, I want that. I want the bear tranquilizers. Hands off or I'll cut them off. The vials contain a powerful hunting anesthetic. Oh, anesthetic. Oh, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> What do you think? Do I need them? Or is it a, uh, is it a red herring? Let's read what I've got to do. Uh, yeah, I've got to get three parts. First part, yeah. Try the last call this one. <laughs> right. And a four digit code retracted by bearing that. Right. Don't have to do that. I was convinced I have, to, I have to knock him out with that. Let's just see what happens if I just click on him. Come on, Lars. How could I knock him out? I have an urgent need to confess. Sit down, my son. I'll be there in a moment. What can I do to knock him out? What Maybe sins have you committed, lost young sheep? I'd say the same as last time. The same in all respects? Yes, father. I can't overcome my impulses. There's very little we can do. Let us join together in prayer, my son. Right, click on him. I couldn't knock him out with only words. Oh, no. Right. Um, what could I... What could I... There's nothing I can... I was all out of... Cannot use licorice on him. That's not going to knock him out. Syringe. In that moment. Um. First piece of scroll. Tracking bracelet. Orchid. Was that the key to the heart of? Right. I thought it was better. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. I think the syringe has something to do with it. Right. Let's do, let's go. Let's. Father, let's I can finally think. hear my clear conscience. It's the gift of our Lord, dear Gino. Never forget it, and come back whenever you want. I'm here for you. Hmm. Let's try and go in this door. It's probably going to stop me. Maybe the scroll piece was inside the ossuary. But first I had to get rid of Carlo and gain possession of his keys. Right, yeah, okay. Is there anything else in here? 
that could help. I've read that panel. Professional. Um, for the car though, what's that? Stained glass window again. Maybe it'll say something different now I've read about that it. That stained glass window successfully achieved. Yep. Oh, what's that? I thought that was a lever. It's a light. Wow, guys, I'm stumped. Pretty sure I have to use the syringe with something. Let's go over it. Maybe the sap. There was sap on a tree, wasn't there? Resin. Come on, then. The tree had lost some resin because of the cut inflicted by Matthias. Can I suck it up? Use a syringe on it? Hmm. No. Could I wipe it off with this handkerchief? I thought it was better to... <sighs> um, I mean, I'm stretching now. I didn't under... I am reaching. Pretty sure I don't have to... Can I call Alice? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Um, contacts. Alice. I could do without Alice's. Devilta. I could do without. No, Devilta. I already discovered. No. Back, back, back. I can no longer go up there. Not that I need to. I can no longer go up the tree again. Not that I need to. Can I stick the magnet back together for reasons unknown? With the I resin? didn't understand. No. <sighs> A bit perplexed. Syringes always scared me to death. I was always afraid the needle would break off during an injection. Right, okay. Um, don't think I've got to do anything here. I've got a feeling it's that bet, it's that anesthetic. Syringe with the anesthetic. Or maybe. Hmm. What else? Where else? Let's try and use the syringe with the drink. Anything about anything you can talk about? There's nothing else to ask. No, because you're a bit of a doofus. Anything down there? It had to be a drain or a ventilation system. Maybe an ancient well? I knew I should have updated my knowledge on medieval... Yeah, I've heard about that bit already. Alright, so we're going to be using the syringe with the drink. Is there anything here? Can we talk to this doofus? Lake. That guy would not have cooperated. Okay. I've got his keys anyway. I don't need, I don't need anything else. Next turn. Panel. Mr. Bundy, how can I help you? How can I help you? I want to use a syringe with your glass. That was all out of ideas. Was it really... Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll talk to Walter. Really the scenery is real, isn't it? Yep. Go on, skip past it. Syringe with the glass. That was all out of. Oh man. Let's use the licorice with that. I could have taken advantage of the repulsion Beringler felt for the licorice, but not that way. I mean, an entire stick stuffed into your drink cannot go unnoticed. Do I have anything in my inventory that I can cut it up with? I thought it was better to. No. Maybe. Any ideas? Any ideas? What could we use a handkerchief for? And the orchid. And the tyre. I mean, there's so many, so much adventure game stuff we've got. That I'm just not sure what to do. You have to excuse me now. Come back whenever you like. Come back whenever you like. Right, anything here? case. A crossbow, swords, daggers, a collection of coins. Well, nothing that mentioned Count Cagliostro. Okay. I've looked at all that, haven't I? It felt like months had passed since the map on the Sila Lique and that absurd riddle connected to chest. That was a good riddle. I enjoyed that riddle. I enjoyed that little puzzle. I must say, there are some really good fun puzzles in this game. I, uh, apart from the chest of drawers one, which was a total head scratcher, I'd say it was very well designed. Wouldn't you guys? Oh dear, I'm stuck. Let's go here. Let's just reassess what we've got to do. 
Let's reassess. We have to change this licorice into into something. Either a squishy substance or a water, no, maybe a tea. Um, I mean, it did say very, very hot, that fire at Teclas. So maybe we can boil some water. Alternatively, we have to knock out Father What's-His-Face. Which I presume is with the syringe. However, what do we put in the syringe? So there's two things I'm looking at at the moment. Vaporizer. I did not see that before. Amazing. Can I have this vaporizer? To do what? Billions of useful and extravagant things. So yourself. What does a empty sprayer? It was an empty vaporizer, the kind used to clean houses. What can I do with that? Hmm. Better think. Maybe the waterfall water. Can I get the waterfall water from the waterfall area? Let's have a quick look around here if there's anything else. So I have a, a sprayer. I mean, maybe that will knock out. What's his face, Father? Father Peanut. I don't know what his name is. I keep forgetting. All right, library, 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 library. The library was well stocked with classics. Couldn't see anything interesting. Okay. The what library was well. And up here, up here, up here. Nice art. No, nothing. Um, I'm going to go to the waterfall. See if I can fill it with water for the vaporizer because I can't click on the waterfall can't I? Yes I can. The movement of the water was hypnotic and the spray soaking my face delightful. I had read that in areas around waterfalls the air is better. Let's try and use that with that. That was all out of ideas. Oh man, son of a gun. Strange. Was it really worth it? Was it really worth it? I don't think that it is. Um, I mean what's the point in sucking up the resin. I think I've probably already tried that. Sometimes, my upset. It did lead randomly. Um, right. Let's just have a quick, quick glance around. Come on, Mars. I think the cafe. Because they might have water or something around here. Anything? Like... Anything? Because I remember that puzzle with Wilo where there was something right next to him which was hidden. It was a pen, wasn't it? Way back when, episode three or four of the very first Hand of Glory. Fountain, maybe. Although it doesn't look full. The fountain was full of crystal clear mm. water, adorned with fresh flowers. I really knew how to make those kinds of things special in Italy. Empty spray with a fountain? That was all out of ideas. No, 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 no. Come on, Mars. In that moment... Right, I'm reaching. I am reaching and I have beyond... I've, I've outstretched my arms to reach. So I'm going to need your, your guys' help. Please, any ideas that I could try. We're trying to get that into a drink and we're trying to knock out Father Fancy Pants. Please leave your ideas in the comments. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be trying this as soon as possible. So, yeah. Write them down in the comments. And whilst he's down there, hit that like button. Um, because this, although, I mean, you should have liked this episode because it's been fun still. But I don't know, I feel like it's the first time, especially in this second half, that I have been stuck. Anyway, yes, like the video. Thank you very much for that. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing. And um, take care.